This is a visualization of people and organizations contributing to political parties. Each dot corresponds to a person and represents their total net contributions to Republicans and Democrats over the last six months. If someone is above the horizontal line, they have given more money to Republicans, and if below, more to the Democrats. Horizontal lines indicate the individuals have a consistent political position. Vertical lines are changes in political position, and the crossing of the origin indicates the switching of party alliances. The names of especially large contributors will be revealed. There are noticeable, if unsurprising, tilts inside some organizations. They are partisan in the sense that most of their employees give to the same party. The ACLU employees tend to give to Democratic candidates. People in the Heritage Foundation give primarily to Republicans. Other organizations are bipartisan in that they employ both Democratic and Republican partisans. Harvard Business School employees, faculty, and students give to both parties. The number of individuals on each side is balanced, but few paths cross the center line. In contrast with these typical patterns of giving, individuals and other organizations tend to give to both sides in a manner that suggests pragmatic giving. In particular, employees at Goldman Sachs often give to both parties over time. This is indicated by the large number of paths that crisscross the center. At the organization level, there is an overall bias towards the Democrats and a late shift towards Republicans starting in 2010. However, at the individual level, people give to both sides during these phases. This suggests that in contrast to giving to a party because of an ideological affinity with the party, these people still give to those who might share their view or promote their interests on particular issues.